Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Hey, and a good Monday morning to you. Artland Troy Mullen here from the Storm Team 3 Weather Center. We're about 15 minutes before the top of the hour. All right, busy weather day today. Let's see what we got going on. Temperatures in the 60s today. That's good news, but starting to fall into this evening and for the rest of the week. So near freezing tonight with some slight chances for some, maybe some wintry mix. We'll talk about that, and then colder air will settle in for the next several days. But uh, over uh, over uh, over the night, uh, pretty cloudy skies and into the uh, into the 40s for uh, our temperatures this morning. Currently in Kirksville, we are in the 40s at 43 degrees with uh, some clear skies, winds from the south southeast at 13 miles per hour in Ottumwa, 46 degrees and south southeast winds at 11 miles per hour. Over the next several hours, temperatures warming up to well above normal today. 53 by 10 o'clock. That's about where we should be for our high for this time of year. So we'll top out into the low and mid 60s today. And as far as rain chances looking good throughout the day today at a 0% chance. So one reason for the warmer temperatures, we've got the winds coming from the south, gusting near 25 miles per hour. That will warm us down a little bit. Then into the uh, overnight hours, they'll shift coming from the north as that uh, cooler air moves in with the gusts near 30 miles per hour. So here is that pocket of cold Canadian air. Right now, it is just now starting to move into the uh, into the U.S. Uh, it's uh, dropping temperatures down into the uh, 20s and the 30s up through the Dakotas into Minnesota, and we'll have some 30s by uh, by the time we get into later on in the week. Taking a look at future cast, things continuing to be dry for the day today. Zooming out here, though, you can see that the majority of this uh, snowfall is toward our north, so that's not going to be too much of an issue for us. There, uh, of course, the farther north that you go, the greater chances of of, of snow, of a rain-snow mix. So uh, portions of southeast Iowa have about a 20-30% chance of that happening, but even still less than a tenth of an inch. No accumulation expected with that. If anything happens to get down into northeast Missouri, that's looking more like rainfall. But again, the majority of the heartland will not see anything at all. So temperatures well below normal for the next several days. We should be about 52 for this time of year. So well above average today, but for the rest of the week, anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees below what we would normally see for early November. 65 for our high today, partly sunny skies, cloudy tonight, 33 degrees, so the big chill starts to take effect. There's those shifting winds from the north and northwest to cool us down even more. All right, check out the five-day forecast over the next five days. 37 for your Veterans Day. There's that 20% chance of any lingering precip before noon. Again, should not be much of a concern. 33 on Wednesday, 31 Thursday, 32 on Friday. The sunny skies continue and overnight lows above freezing tonight, but below freezing for the other evenings for the remainder of the week in the teens and near 20 degrees.